So today we're going to talk about a, an, an interesting topic uh, that studies have been doing where they're saying if you eat a certain amount of protein, that it actually lowers your testosterone, which I think is actually crazy. Greg, you, you got some you got some studies that you can put up about this, but these are studies on people who didn't actually even work out, right? Yeah, this is just the, the average, quote unquote, average Joe. He went and did in 2023 or 2022, sorry, he published it and it was a, it was a meta study. So he looked at dozens and dozens of studies that looked at hundreds and hundreds of people. Problem being, it was just the average Joe, not an athlete, not someone trying to lose weight, not someone trying to develop their physique because they want to look better on the beach. Um, and the other problem was they ate extremely extremely high doses of protein and in a very short study on average it was 10 days they were able to show that these ultra high levels of protein actually lower testosterone levels by 144 nanograms per deciliter which is actually very substantial yeah but like you said you're if you eat too much of anything and you don't burn it off it's going to have an adverse effect it just sounds like um it was a uh, it was a, an exercise meant to come out with a, a adverse effect. And in other words, it was, you know, it was set up to be failed, uh, yeah. just those 10 days. And, you know, those people not having to include any type of activity where they actually burned off, um, those calories and adding that type of calorie. I mean, you know, we found out later on, uh, in life that is not necessary to go so high uh, with your protein, have them not increase their workload or anything like that and have them go to that amount. You're, you're asking for, you know, uh, a situation where it's gonna fail. It seems like he was trying to, you know, come up with a narrative. Yeah, definitely is what I'm no, getting didn't. It was NIH funded, so I don't, who knows there, but um, they also put in their study that there was no testosterone drop with optimal intake of protein. 